Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Georgia and today I wanted to show you a skincare haul that I picked up recently. All of the stuff I got from Cult Beauty, but it is available on other websites, is just stuff from The Ordinary and The Inky List. I bought some of these pieces because I'd seen them recommended on YouTube or Instagram by different people. And the aim of the game today with the skincare haul is to help with acne prone skin and also um, like an anti-aging properties and stuff because I have noticed I've started to get a few like fine lines in that I am in my late 20s so it's definitely time to start thinking about doing anti-aging skincare obviously if that's something that you care about um, so yeah I bought a few bits let me show you what I got okay so I only picked up a few pieces about four pieces but a lot of it is just to integrate into my skincare that I use now and eventually I might then step up and use other products but otherwise I didn't want to get too many different things or do go too crazy with it because I won't really know what is affecting my skin. Okay, so I got the Retinol 0.2 in Squalene. That's how you pronounce it. This is for anti-aging. So this is a retinoid. It will help like the cell turnover in your skin and everything. And you only use this one in the PM, like in the evening, just because it does make your skin sensitive to sunlight and UV rays and everything. And then I picked up the Niacinamide 10% and 1% Zinc. This is like a blemish formula. And it said that it has anti-inflammatory properties and can also inhibit oil production and everything as well as helping to like keep your pores clean or like cleanse the cell turnover or something like that, blah, blah, blah. Then I also got the 100% organic cold pressed rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is something I've been using for quite a few years now. I usually use the pay or pie oil, but this was nine pound and it was just a lot less expensive than the other one for like 12, 15 pound for a much smaller bottle. I did use this, use this one back when I was using the ordinary stuff before. I don't think it made such a difference on my skin as the pay pie one does, but I do quite like it and it is kind of something I like. It like softens my skin and helps with like healing of my blemishes and everything as well. I think that really is quite useful for this product and I just think it just makes my skin a lot more hydrated. So I like using this one, it's just another product that I wanted to pick up anyway, so I went with that one. And then I did get from the Inculus, this the succinct acid blemish treatment, helps to clear blemishes fast, it's got salicylic acid in it, and basically you just apply it to your blemishes or the blemished areas, and it will help to keep your skin clear and kind of like all of that stuff. But yeah, these are a few different things I thought I'd pick up. As I was saying with the niacinamide zinc um, formula here, I have seen this one around a lot, like on Instagram and YouTube and probably like TikTok and stuff like that, people are using it. Um, this one says it's indicated to reduce the appearance of skin blemishes and congestion. The niacinamide is an anti-inflammatory property and it helps like inhibit oil production. It's quite good for fine lines and wrinkles and everything as well. So it's kind of a two-in-one kind of blemish and anti-aging at the same time. And then with the zinc as well, that's quite good for healing skin and like clearing the bacteria and everything. It's quite like antibacterial properties and everything. So this one is quite good to go for when you're looking for blemish treatments. Um, with this one as well, I did see a few videos, I didn't really watch them, but I did see a few videos about people's skin purging when they've been using niacinamide. I haven't really thought that's happened to me yet. I have been using this about a week. I have been using it every single day. I've been kind of doing one on, one off um, kind of thing. Um, but I haven't really met, found that it's broke my skin out any more than my skin would normally break out anyway. Maybe that's just because I do have blemish prone, acne prone skin that I won't notice such a difference. Maybe on someone who has slightly clearer skin, they might notice their skin change a lot more. But my skin is kind of generally like this anyway, so it's not a big deal to me at the moment. So hopefully that will continue and I won't get any purging or anything on my skin. The thing with the nice cinema as well, but I do find that it layers weird on your skin or you have to be careful what you kind of put on top of it or how you put things on top of it. When I put it on my skin, I tend to dab it in just because I find if you rub it in, it goes quite lathery and I don't really know that makes a difference or what that does, but I dab it in and then any other products I put on top, I like kind of dab pat that in too because I find it peels quite easily. Like it'll kind of roll up underneath the other skincare and I find it is more with the niacinamide than any other product I'm using. So I just be careful not to put too much on my skin and just kind of pat it on until it's dry and then wait a moment for it to sink in fully. And then I go in my other products on top, just patting those in too. It's usually fine once I get to my moisturizer, I kind of find that I can kind of rub that on. It doesn't peel up or anything, but it's just the other products I tend to just pat on afterwards. With the retinol, there's a few different ones you could go for. There's a few different like amounts in squalene or the other, th what's the other thing? 
I don't know. There's a few different amounts you could go for and there was two different types. One is in the squalene and one was something else. I can't, can't remember what it was. But basically they do say with retinoids to start on the lowest amount first and kind of gradually put it into your skincare because it can cause flakiness and peeling in your skin, especially around the eyes and mouth. So this is something you, you don't really want to go really hard into because it will damage your skin and you'll get a lot of irritation from it. This one at the 0 0.2 is low strength and moderate irritation. I haven't really found it to irritate my skin too much yet, but I have been kind of using it one on, one off again. And for the first few days that I was doing the overall skin routine, I was just putting on my forehead because that's why I wanted to focus the anti-aging properties, especially with the rest of my skin, I was kind of going for blemishes blemish treatment you know this one probably would help with blemishes and stuff as well i did do a few days like one on one off doing this and using this and not and then almost on the fifth day i didn't put any niacinamide on my skin i just went over fully with my face with this and i do think it makes my skin look nice and it has kind of helped my blemishes to kind of like i don't know like my skin has does look a lot softer today like i woke up this morning my skin looks a lot softer today than it has in previous days so I do think it's kind of making a bit of a difference now. But this one, like I say, I kind of have gradually put it into my skincare routine and I will continue to do so until I've used it most of this bottle probably and then I'll probably go on to the next strength up and then add that into my skincare that way. Like I said, they have a few different ones. I'm not too sure what the difference is between this and the other one without the squalene. I'm sure there was some sort of difference, but it's all on their website, the Ordinary website. And everything on there for you to have a look. But... Retinoids or retinol can help reduce the appearance of fine lines of photo damage and general skin aging. Squalene makes up about 10 to 12% of your natural skin anyway. So it's kind of a product that is found naturally in your skin. And this just helps to balance oil production, providing moisture and keeping your skin healthy. And I guess it's to help moisturize your skin while putting that retinoid on there as well. So nothing is really dried out or flaky or anything. It's just an extra sort of barrier protection with the retinoid. Okay, then with the rosehip oil, like I said, I've used this before and this is why I kind of went for it again. I just like it adds an extra layer of moisturizer. Um, I really help think this helps to heal my skin and just make everything look a lot softer on my skin and everything as well. And it says it protects against sun damage, reduces hyperpigmentation and reduces scars and fine lines. So it's quite good for like acne scars and everything as well. Um, it has fatty acids, linoleic and linolenic acid in it. And it helps keep cell walls healthy and strong so they don't lose so much water. So it's helping you moisturise your skin at the time and also like throughout the time it's helping to build up moisture in your skin. It exfoliates and brightens skin. Vitamins A or retinol encourages cell turnover so it's kind of got the vitamin A in there too. Vitamin C, L's in cell regeneration, both necessary for collagen production. So this is a good anti-aging one again because it will help your skin build up moisture and build up protections against like everyday aging and photo aging and stuff like that. And it also helps to reduce inflammation. I find this helps with my spots, like I do see a difference in that when I do use this. And the vitamin E in there is known for anti-inflammatory effects. Overall, the stuff I've been getting is to help cell turnover, to help with aging, and also like reduction of acne scars and also just the blemishes in general. I put that moisturizer in there and help with like anti-inflammatory, like everything, so everything looks a lot nicer, softer, reduced, not as harsh or like red, annoying skin you know okay and then i did also get this a zinc acid blemish treatment this one is by the inkless it's a new thing they brought out recently it is just a cream like a green cream you're gonna pat it onto the areas where you have the blemishes it's got salicylic acid in it as well as i think the zinc acid is a derivative of corn and that helps with like anti-inflammatory and also like once again kind of like cell turnover but um it's not quite the cell, you know it just helps to exfoliate or cleanse in your pores and stuff. Especially the salicylic acid, it's definitely going to do that. And I just thought I'd give it a go because I haven't really used a blemish treatment or a direct blemish treatment in quite a while. I'll overall just do things to my face and that will help with my blemishes. Or I'll put some pseudocreme on places where I do think it needs healing up a bit or just help with like the process but i haven't used a blemish treatment in a while so i thought i'd give this a go so far i do quite like it i haven't noticed too much of a difference in my skin overall with these things i have been using it about a week now but um over yeah i don't know overall my skin does look a lot smoother like my pores aren't as visible and 
my skin looks a lot softer overall. I don't think the blemishes have really reduced that much. I did have quite a big blemish here for a while and it was a lump and it just kind of stayed there for ages. It was just there. But the last few days it has really reduced in size a lot quicker than I think it would have done just on its own. So I think that has helped with that. I've still been getting like new spots. It's not like it's been stopping me from getting any blemishes at all. Um, but I just think it does help once the spots have come through. Like I had a few really like small ones on my nose here and here and I thought, oh my god, that's going to turn to a massive spot. I'd done the rest of my skin can, I put this on it and it just didn't even turn, it just gone the next day. It didn't even turn into like a raging spot or anything. It was just gone the next day so I was quite happy with that. But yeah, overall I'm just going to give this a good go. I've been using it for about a week now and I do like some of the results I've been seeing and I know there's probably a lot more to do. They do say it's usually a month to six weeks before you see such results from using skincare especially with the retinoids and everything as well because i'm not using it every single day but i'm using it every other day it's not going to be such a difference um i think i'll gradually build up to using some of this stuff every day but for now i'm obviously going to take it one day at a time and just see what my skin needs in that day what i feel like my skin needs and just using it then i don't want to overload it with anything just because then that will cause my skin to break out more but yeah, thank you for letting me ramble on today about the skincare. This is just research I've done like on my own or I found from people's videos or just like, like just Googling stuff and everything. So not saying all this stuff is completely true, but this is just what I think the skincare does for me and also what the benefits of each skincare are. But yeah, do your own research, have a look through and see what sort of things will work for you. And a lot of this skincare is pretty cheap. It's really good prices for the skincare. So even if you buy it, give it a go. Give it a go for a decent amount of time and you don't get on with it or you don't like it or it really does break you out. It's not too much of a big deal compared to spending £30 on something and it not working for you. Most of these items are under £10 or at least under £15. So you really can build a skincare routine without costing too much money and worrying about that it's going to be a waste. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope this video has helped you make some choice about your skincare because I know I have struggled with my skin for quite a while and I continue to. And I'm just looking for something that just makes it a little bit easier, you know? And something that I make me feel good about my skin and not even like that i like putting skincare routines together and I like taking that time at the end of the day to put different stuff on to layer on to use this and that and see the effects of it i really like all of that i like that whole the whole journey of why this works for me why this doesn't work for me and it's not all about the end result it's about getting there that i quite like as well so let me know how your journey is going, how your skincare is going too. And let me also know because I'm kind of looking into getting like eye creams and stuff as well. So let me know if there's any good like anti-aging eye creams or anything that is quite good for like sensitive eyes or like younger skin, you know, and all that stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye. It's usually fine once I get to my... It's usually fine once I get to my 